Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Roadblock, and we are on the free-to-play account. Uh, I'm trying to compose myself. I got a little bit heated on a different video, um, but I do want to take a focus on this account. Uh, this is a very important account to me, and I know to you guys in the community. So, um, let's talk about what's been going on. I got a bunch of challenges done on my phone today. I think I can do one more right now. Stage 13 of the Force Keep. Let's do that now before I forget. Because if I time this right, I'll be able to pull. Right? So Sunday would be Void Keep. Right? And then tomorrow is Magic Keep. I think. So, those are the only two that I have left after I do Force Keep here. Which, when I complete this challenge, I get another Sacred Shard. That's going to be five Sacred Shards going into a 2x event. So. Very excited about that. Um, I'm probably going to pull those shards live on, that's a great reward, on camera, um, on my stream on, on Saturday. Um, and we'll see what we get. I had a lot of comments about what I talked, oh, hey. I'm sorry I didn't make a video last night, guys. Um, if you didn't watch my other video about the free-to-play challenge account, uh, I I came home and I fell asleep um, at my computer and had to to uh, go lay down. Uh, I I I had pushed myself to my limit as far as my my sleep goes. So um, I do apologize for not having a video come out. I thought about recording like a short video to be like, Hey, sorry guys, no videos today or whatever. But, um, I, I don't like do, doing those that much because I don't, I, I don't know. I didn't want to like emphasize it. I really didn't want to draw any attention to it. Um, but you know, I, I got a bunch of messages, uh, from a couple different, uh, viewers of the channel. One of whom is a, a personal friend of mine that was like, hey, are you okay? They thought something had happened to me because I, I, I didn't make content. So um, I'm fine. Everything's fine. I just fell asleep and I could not, uh, I couldn't stay awake long enough to make a video. And I'm definitely never going to make any half-assed videos anymore for content because when, when I do, people make comments about them and uh make accusations about uh the things that are not true so regardless uh that is a conversation for another video let's focus on this account so we do have 2x finally for sacreds and we've built up our sacred pool a lot i must say i mean you know i can have five sacreds right now if i spent 400 uh, I think it's no. I, what would it be? It's two fifty, and then I think the void keep is three fifty, three hundred, and then magic keep is two hundred. So if I spent five hundred gems, I'm not gonna do that. But if I spent five hundred gems, I could get an extra sacred. Here's the plan. Tomorrow on reset, so Friday night on reset, I'm going to do the magic keep challenge. When that one's done, reset on Saturday night will happen before I go live on stream, which will give me the opportunity to do the Void Keep on auto and clear stage 13. That will get me this sacred. Now, of course, we could get another sacred from Clan Boss too, but between now and then, we'll at least have five sacreds going into the two times event. So if we look at the news... Double up summon boosts. So we have a two times summon event with a 10 time, a 10 X chance of getting a Latreon Blademaster. I am 
very excited about that. If we could get a, a, a Latron because he solves so many problems on this account. We're really lacking, like, a solid cleanser. He's a Knight's Rev, right? Um, so, he would give us the solid cleanse. He himself gets turn beater, right? So we get the cleanse and the block debuffs. That's big too. Because we really don't have plus the plus the protected part, right? Um That's gonna be really, really handy for most content that we're doing. Also, we would get the increased defense and the shield. Which is the good version of a shield because it's about around his HP. We could build him very high HP and get big shields. Then plus they're protected, so all the damage that we were taking on uh, Griffin boss by like recently, which I still cannot clear. I'm trying. I tried, guys. I mean, I, I spending probably too much time on it, uh, if I'm honest. But um, and then of course increasing your duration of buffs now if you've seen saf's video about this video it doesn't work the way it's it reads unfortunately but uh still a a, a great a1 and and very strong um plus he can get a lot of turn meter uh and self-healing which is always good right you keep him alive that's the one other thing that we lack is is healing right you know, our main team, or an assortment of them, our really only source of life is from Leech. So, Alatrion or Alatreon, however you're supposed to say it, would be a great pull. I'm not saying we're going to get him. It's only a 10x. If you've been playing this game for any sort of time, you know that it's not going to be the greatest chances. Uh, but, it would be a great legendary to change the the course of the account but we could also get none i think my mercy on sacreds was used i think we got ultimate death knight on a sacred shard i think it may have been the ancient shards that we got him on uh so i don't know where our mercy stands on sacreds at all i have zero clue so uh Regardless, we're going to pull during a 2x and give ourselves the best chance of getting a legendary, the 12%, uh, across five shards. And we'll see what happens, right? So, very excited about that. And hopefully clan bosses will be kind enough to give us another uh, sacred shard between now and then. That's, I think, what, two rotations of, of clan boss still, still yet to go? So, okay. Uh, elsewhere on the account, we're still stuck on missions. Uh, you guys talked a lot about what spirit champion to go with. Well, I'm not making any decision until I pull these secrets because there are a lot of great spirit champions out there, epic or otherwise, that would be an instant boost, right? Where everything else that I've talked about has been somewhat questionable. A couple of, uh, let's, if we talk about Spirit Champions, I know somebody talked about Morag or Lady Annabelle, um, or even Soulbound, or Soulbond. One of the great things about doing Soulbond is that she would be cheaper to ascend. I honestly really do like the idea of Soulbond, if for nothing else other than Faction Wars, because putting her in a stun set... Hell, even even progressing in Doom Tower with uh, fearsome presence. Don't quote me on that. I'm about to check. Yeah, increases the chance of placing uh, these debuffs from skills or artifacts by five percent. So, if we were to put her in a stun set with that A one, we could potentially get ourselves more uh, stunning out of her a a1 just turn off all the other skills just a1 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 build her fast i mean you just build her crazy fast and not even worry about i mean build her tanky right if we wanted to go that route i'm not saying we 
we have to go that route. It's just some thoughts that I have, right? That would bring value to the account. I One thing that I'm kind of learning, and this is a blind spot for me as a player, which is Faction Wars. So I completed the Lydia... Uh, stars uh sorry let me pause and just show you guys what i'm talking about for those of you that are new to the game which many of you may be in faction wars the end reward is this legendary champion lydia the death siren she's great uh great abilities she brings decreased defense and weaken on the same uh ability as well as strengthen and speed which is huge uh poison sensitivity which is huge Where's the poison says there it is right block buffs it's only on a single target um and then block active skills as well and then her her passive is crazy good in the arena preventing revives also good against ice golem uh preventing him from reviving his his two two cronies so all in all lydia is just an amazing champion top tier champion and i only got her i'd say a couple months ago now um and i think that's because i blinded myself to the importance of faction wars and what i mean by that is it was the lowest priority on my totem pole I was pushing doom tower pushing hydra and i would just come in i'd throw a couple of you know whatever legendaries i had with a couple of epics and if i happened to have a rare in that uh area that was leveled and good i would use them like for for the demon lords for the longest time i was using marques in that group um i was using for i think i'm still on my main account still using soul bond for the barbarians and i was even using war maiden for the barbarians on that account for a while too i think i still am actually so um but i didn't make it a priority early early enough on my account and it's something that i'm i'm duplicating here i'm definitely not making this enough of a priority now in some cases i just don't have anybody i only recently got these two champions you can see they are both not leveled um but they are both great faction wars champions and if i were to level both of them i would make progress there likewise if we look at uh sylvan watchers i literally have nobody literally have nobody so it's it does it is a long task it does take time once i like decided to dedicate my time to it and, and started putting energy into champions that I didn't really want to level other than for faction wars. I started to see a lot of progress in it, but I did that very, very late in my raid campaign. I think given how many stars I'm seeing in the free to play challenge event, it really feels like maybe it's a weak spot for me that I'm not paying enough attention to. And I should be doing earlier on, on both accounts. So maybe using some of those rares getting them to 50 perhaps and 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 getting to a point especially where you can farm some more of these legendary materials for your forge that type of stuff you know you get these books right which are huge uh but then you also get the stars and perhaps get lydia faster using champions without you know without waiting until you pull a legendary in that faction or or like a crazy strong epic so i don't know the right answer on when to do faction wars and when not it's not anything i've ever researched but it feels like a bit of a blind spot for me like maybe i should be prioritizing faction wars a little bit more um so that makes soul bond more appealing she would cost less to ascend and she would really open up that faction at least was stunning um i well i don't e even then maybe not i just don't have that many barbarians uh yet 
I do have High Katoon, of course. Um, but Soul Bond, you know, High Katoon's not even gonna have any gear on her. I love Zephyr Sniper though. Zephyr Sniper is another one. Honestly, I should I maybe maybe a five star here and also put her in stun gear. Between her and Soul Bond in stun gear, we might be able to do something like, like like get pretty decently far. Um, we would lack the damage, of course, but, you know, maybe we pull somebody. I don't know. I'm just kind of thinking out loud. I haven't really given it too much thought in the past, but that's kind of where we're at. So, uh, Clan v. Clan. So, the, the, the score on this account is quite low, uh, but we did win Clan v. Clan, as you can see. So, so I'm at the highest personal rewards tier, tier 6. I needed 400,000 points. I basically farmed... Uh, spider overnight you on multi battles to get all the points that i needed it's 350 points per run i basically just set that on auto uh but i did also pop i had saved up several fragment summon champions on that account i had saved up um many many books books that i had to use on champions that i don't even use in some cases um and i forged a bunch of gear as well to to get those points um on this and, and I basically did that right up until I couldn't keep my eyes open any longer last night. And then I was like, okay, I'm I can't I calculated how many multi battles I had to run and I set it for multi battles and said, Alright, just just run this. And then I went to bed. Um So the rest of this account, all the dailies and everything, forge pass pass progression, all of that got accomplished still, but I did that today uh during during the day before before reset so um and that's kind of how i've been playing this account i've basically just been doing what little i can get on this account when i have time um the big thing that i'm planning is saving up the resources on this account for a potential fusion um a couple of other interesting things that have come out in case you missed it they are coming up with a system now for these fragments that not Searsha, I would assume, but fragments for, for, for past fusions that you may not, um, that's probably all of them. This one is probably some, um, that you may not have been able to complete and then taking those fragments and potentially building towards another champion uh which is also they have information on i'm not going to pull up information i'm i'm too exhausted and i mean if i'm just being honest with you guys just kind of uh i can't even find the right word for it but um it looks to be a pretty decent champion. At the end of the day, it's a free legendary, so you know you want to go for it, right? Um, and it's just a matter of us getting uh, fragments, even if they're champions that we may not complete, All right, right? So I like it overall because I think that it's going to make it more viable for early game accounts to say, hey... There's a fusion. I'm not going to do the summon rush. I'm not going to do the dungeon divers. But I'll run a whole bunch of dragon during the tournament. I'll run a whole bunch of ice golem during the tournament. And get those fragments that are easy. I'll do arena and get those fragments. And then I can spend those towards another legendary over the course of, of a longer period of time. So... I like it. I think it's I think it's interesting for free to play accounts that may not be able to do every single fusion in this game, right? So, um Forge Pass progression, I feel like I'm really on track for. Almost halfway through, we've still got I'd say yeah, two and a half weeks to to get the rest done 
So I'm, I'm feeling good about my progression there. If we end up falling short here, that would really sting. But at the end of the day, we are going to get quite a few uh, resources just in, you know, even if it's just in the term of banners and everything. Um, did I recently get, I think I looked at, it, it was the rings I looked at. I don't think I looked at who got the amulets here. So, hey now. Okay. Well, that's a good faction to get a crit damage amulet. With an extra 5% crit rate. I don't necessarily need the extra 5% on him, but what could I change if I did get the extra 5%? He's at 101, so it'd be at 106, so I could lose 6% crit rate. There's probably a piece of gear here that, you know, may have a better substat roll somewhere else. Like a chest piece, right? So attack percent chest with crit rate, crit damage. No, that's pretty good let me look at chest yeah that's a tip top piece this one could potentially be better i have to do an upgrade right now anyways so i'm gonna take this to 12 because this is decent and we'll see what we get here Pretty much the same roles. The only difference would be if we could complete the Cruel set, which would really be... I mean, this is a... Ooh, this doesn't have crit damage, though, right? So if we look at a weapon that has crit rate, crit damage, and attack percent... Take this to 12. I'm not saying I'm going to do this, by the way. I know I'm committing a lot of resources right now. See, that's a lot of crit right there. I'm trying to see if there's any area where I could remove... Because this, this, this particular weapon, which is a great weapon, by the way, has one roll and a crit rate, two and an HP percent. We do not care about that on a sub Wukong. And then accuracy, which isn't bad. I, will get, I won't get mad at that. Um... But if there was a place where I could lose a little bit of crit rate, but gain more attack or crit damage, it would improve his capabilities overall. And so we have 6%. With that necklace, we now have 6% crit rate to play around with. So perhaps leveling some of these pieces could open up a little bit more damage out of the Sun Wukong. It's kind of a min-max approach, but it's definitely an option moving forward um, because this is a good piece. Would just love some crit damage somewhere in it. So, likewise, if we move this piece off for a better piece, this same 13% crit rate could go to another champion, for example that may be short on or you know may want to get more out of their their kit so there are a lot you know it's always great to kind of min max that top champion and kind of work that gear down down the way and try and make stuff work so oh artifact enhancement event nice i'll take a little bit of extra energy uh, I'm not saying that I'm I'm like not playing. I'm still playing and still actively kind of trying to 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 find little improvements. As you can see, oh, what where'd the other amulet land? <laughs> we, we we got sidetracked by the one amulet on the best possible class for this account. There's the ring. Ooh, knight's rev. So, I think our only Knight's Rev, right? 
yeah, is Coffin Smasher. So right now, not not the best class for that that to be on. All right, or net best faction for that to be on. Uh, oh, I uh, we got we got double Mithrala fragments too, so we did hit uh, forty five for Mithrala because we got two in each chest, which was great. Yannicka's at ninety five fragments. Drekstar is at eighty two. I think. Yeah, less than an hour, I'll be able to get his uh, fragments. So we're working towards Drekstar. And. I've been really happy with with where you know how things are going on the account. I think we did fall short for the first time since getting Rathalos. We had to three key again. It's been a long time since we had to do that. Uh, Affinity played a big part into that, and we just happened to have a slightly underperforming Void key. Usually, so far they've been twenty million. But this time it was 19 million, I think. It may have been 20 million, um, but not like 23 million. And so I did have to use three keys. The remaining key right now we'll use in Brutal. And this is pretty much a guaranteed one key at this point on the account. Um, there you go, 32 million. Cleared it by, I wanted to say a mile, but is it 29? Oh, it's 21. Yeah, we, we smoked that. 10 million damage over. So we've got Brutal on lock. Uh, what I've been doing is Nightmare, and then I've been actually putting my extra key or keys during Clan v. Clan, because we get some as rewards in our at our Clan v. Clan level. I used them in Ultra Nightmare and double-dipped some in here. I certainly could have just used them in hard or, you know, lower, lower content, but that's what I ended up doing. Um... I think that's everything. I'll be doing Hydra this weekend. We are stuck. We are stuck when it comes to... The bird. Now, some of these champions could be built out better. Make them a little more tanky. But I'm struggling. I, I there's probably some champions that I could build, probably some, you know, reworks that I could do, but I'm just not getting the output that I want for the Griffin. So um Yeah. I just don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I'm just thinking. Like I know I'm I'm very quiet, but I'm I'm really really thinking here about you know changes that I could make. I'm trying to see if that cruel piece I just leveled maybe a big. Uh, That would make a big difference. He's only 99%, right? And we would gain crit damage. We lose one speed, but I can also just upgrade this. Because this is a really good piece. I'll, I'll throw a big guy on it. I, I hate that. <laughs> I'm not really worried about accuracy on him. I'm not going to waste any of those, but that I means seven more crit damage, and now we're crit capped, and we don't lose any attack. A little bit of HP. How much crit rate does this have on it? 6%. Yeah, there's really no scenario where I can run anything that doesn't have crit rate and crit damage, so this is just better. <laughs> oh, you're All 
All right. Um. That's actually kind of fair. Yeah, all right, so none of these have crit rate on them, so, okay. Made a little bit of room. I forgot that I'm so tapped out on room on this account, but uh, I need to put that piece on him. Well, I'm excited to get more damage out of him there for for sure. I'm just wondering. Maybe if I build him out a little bit better, we could squeeze out some more damage. He's also really slow. So, I don't know. It's something I'm definitely going to have to rework some champions for, and I just, you know, we're going to have to find the time to to sit down and, and push the the Doom Tower. So, uh, but yeah, that's everything going on in the account. Arena's been going really well, too. Uh, back down to gold, too. Did I? Let me look at my battle log. Oh, no, no, that was a different account. Yeah, I did, uh, that's, oh, these are my defenses. I was like, yeah, so on attack, but yeah, you can see on attack, I'm doing really well. I just need to get back up to gold three. Um, it's, it's slipped a little bit these last, uh, this last evening, I'd say. So, all right, guys. Well, thank you for watching. Thank you for all of the support. Um, just a reminder, I'll be streaming on Saturday. I'm very, very excited about that. Uh, we're going to do some account takeovers, be pulling shards on Saturday live. I'm going to pull shards on the main account, on the free-to-play. I don't have any pull to pull on the challenge, but if I do get any to pull on the challenge, I will pull them as well. So I'm excited about that. Excited for you guys watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.